Hello friends, welcome to the Android Guy. I'm your host HK. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to root almost any Android device, whether it's a phone or a tablet, running on any Android version without the need of a computer. Now, this is a true one-touch routing method, which means you'll only need to install an app on your phone, hit on the root button, and your device will be rooted under a minute. So no need to connect your phone with the computer, no need to flash anything. It's the easiest and the most safest method of rooting any Android device. Now, before we get started, let me show you that my device is not rooted at this moment if I run the root check app and as you can see it says the root status is no which means my device is not rooted at this moment and now just to verify that we'll go back and run the root checker basic another very useful app and if I hit on verify root over here and as you can see if I just zoom in a little bit and it says sorry root access is not properly installed on this device which means my device as for now is unrooted now the fantastic one touch universal routing tool which we'll be using today is called as the king root app king root is an one touch universal routing tool which has been known to have rooted a lot of devices out there but the best thing about king root is that it makes routing way more easier faster and possible for a wider range of android users but first of all you'll need to download the king root app the link to that will be in the description so if you open the link on your android browser it will take you directly uh, to the xda forums official page and if you scroll down and as you can read over here let me zoom in a little bit the latest version of King Root can even root the latest devices like Samsung Galaxy S6, Sony Xperia Z3, uh, even phones running on 64-bit processor and it also works on the latest version of Android. And it also works on any other devices older or newer. Now, rooting may void your device warranty so make sure that you read the description and the disclaimer properly. Once that is done just scroll down and download the latest version of King Root. Now it's only 6 MB in size. Let me go ahead and download it up. Now once download is complete, we'll need to install it. Now if you're downloading and installing an app outside of the Play Store for the first time, make sure that the unknown sources is turned on in the settings under the security tab. Installation is done. Uh, quickly go ahead and open King Root. And if I zoom in a little bit. Alright, it says that my device is non rooted. And here is my model number. Let's zoom out. Everything looks fine. Uh, so just go ahead and uh, click on uh, this blue start root button. Now make sure that you're connected to the internet during the entire process. It'll download the exploits and some important files to root your device. Well, the entire process does not take a lot of time. It'll take somewhere between 1 to 4 minutes. So during the entire period, do not touch your device. Do not fiddle around with it. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. Now some phone might automatically reboot, it might restart, so do not worry, it's all normal. King Root does not require a third party recovery to be installed on your device which, which makes routing way easier. This app is also cloud based which means it looks up for the best routing method for a particular device and gives out an honest try in routing your device up. And the root success rate are way more than any other routing tool out there. Alright, the process is completed, uh, the King user app automatically opened up. Let me zoom in, okay, let's hit on OK. And as you can see, it says successfully obtain root, which means my device seems to be rooted. But let's go ahead and check it out. Let's open up a root check. Let's allow the permissions. And the good news, as you can see, my device is rooted. Uh, it says uh, my phone is rooted. That's a good news. Let's uh, go back and check it out again with root checker basic. And if we hit on verify root, allow the permissions. And yup, congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device, which means my device is rooted. It didn't take more than, I would say, two minutes. So yup, it was a fast process. So that's the King user, which is basically similar to SuperSue, the root manager of your device. Let's open it up. And as you can see, it says successfully obtained root, which means my device is rooted. And here are a bunch of options. Let's enter into root authorization. And here are all the apps on your device that requires root. You can manage them easily from here. Let's go back. And here is the uninstall tool. By using the uninstall tool, you can remove a pre-installed app on your device. You can remove plotware or apps which you do not use. But be very careful by removing system apps because that might affect your phone's functionality. 
yeah friends that's about it let's let's check it out again and as you can see my device is rooted and i hope that all of you guys got the same results that i did so please give this video a thumbs up if this video helped you and do subscribe and if you were able to successfully root your device by using this method please post it down in the comment along with the name of your device it will be helpful for those who have the same device and please do not dislike this video if it didn't work on your device there are alternative ways to root your device the link to those will be in the description until then i'm your host hardik from the android guy signing up do like do subscribe and stay tuned that's about it yeah.